So, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. The title of this video is Apocalyptic Shopping. We've been home since the cold front came. Um, I don't know, the temperature just kept getting lower and lower and lower. <clears throat> and we're sort of running out of food, so decided yesterday, today's a store day. We have to go to the store. We need some some provisions. And I need to mail a package. So, or a couple of packages. So we leave here, creep out of the garage. Everything's covered in snow and ice. And um, I have a lot of experience driving in the snow or ice. But you can't tell Bunny that. So <clears throat> every five minutes is what I'm hearing. Don't hit that guy. Don't let that guy hit you. Look out, look out. He just went right through that. I said, well, stop signs, stop lights. So they're not working anyway. They're sort of suggestions. They're not absolutes anymore. So we decided to go to the post office first. The day is going to be post office, groceries, and then see if I can find a place where I, I can, we can get a meal. So we go to the post office, I trudge in there. It's open. You, if you have a mailbox there, you can get to it, but nothing else is because the electricity's off. There's rolling power outages. <clears throat> and we had some, a couple hours long where it got pretty cool in here and then one was maybe 30 minutes long and that's all we've had so I know a lot of people have suffered a lot worse than that so okay the post office is closed just leave the packages in the car we'll mail them tomorrow um, we go to get groceries and the place is packed and there's no vegetables everything's Locusts have been there, swarms of locusts. And um, we get down the toilet paper aisle, and Bunny says, "Well, last time it was it was um, toilet paper. This time it's everything." <laughs> so people have their carts full, lots of people with their carts full, pushing them through the aisles. You know, <clears throat> with that look in their eye of disbelief. So for some reason I started saying real loud, apocalyptic shopping, apocalyptic shopping. Everybody started laughing and it eased the tension and everything was a little better. We get to the front, we can't get checked out. We just kind of stand there forever until something opens up. <clears throat> we self check out, um, get to the car, and she's worried about the car, the food defrosting. I said, well, it's kind of zero out here. I don't think anything's going to defrost. <clears throat> so we had to a place that's real close that so we can get a, a meal. And the guy that runs the place is sitting in his car saying they closed down, that they're having these rolling um, blackouts so they can't be open. And um, so she gets on the phone. She's a navigator. I do the driving, but she's a navigator. And she comes up, she calls another place we eat at all the time and said, well, we're open now for lunch, but we don't know how long we're gonna be open because <clears throat> no one's coming in. Everybody's apparently out scavenging for food or whatever it is they're looking for because everything's closed down. As we're driving along, we don't see anything open. So we get to the place and there's a couple of cars out front that look like they belong to people that work there. And we go in and it's us. And we know the manager, so we're talking to him. And uh, he's saying he's gonna he wants he's gonna close up and go home and then go shopping with his wife. And the place started filling up with people. Pretty soon a lot of people in there eating. It's like they needed an invitation or something. So we put the car 
back in the garage, unloaded the the food, and um, I sort of felt a little silly that we had participated in such a thing. It's like the toilet paper thing. It's just the food wasn't there. People were having 10, 10 loaves of bread in their cart. You know they weren't going to eat but one. <clears throat> which prompted me to go back and get another pound of coffee. <laughs> so um, we get home, we're sitting around, because uh, since the cold um, front hit, my phone's not ringing, no phone's ringing around here. I don't think the service is working very well anyway. So yesterday, <clears throat> a house about halfway down the block had water coming out of it, front and back, water. You know, that house is ruined. So we were wondering what that was about, because the owner, we know him really well. He and his wife and his mother's wife are not there anymore. But Bunny is the, she walks our dog more than any other dog. <clears throat> and he wasn't, doing his business. He didn't know what snow was. He just kind of went out there and just ran back inside. It scared him. <clears throat> over this series of walks over the day, he finally got used to it. And she, she took a broom out there and broomed out a place for this dog to go to the bathroom. He's a little bit spoiled, I'd say. <clears throat> and finally he does. But by walking up and down the street, she hears that the pipes in his upper story that control the, um, his house has three stories, ours has two. But nobody really uses that. Well, in this case, he has somebody living up there. <clears throat> and the pipes that control the sprinkler system broke in the ceiling of the third floor. Came down through and flooded the entire house and went out the front and back door. That's a lot of water. And anyway, we were feeling sorry for him. I don't know what we can do to help, but I'm sure there'll be something. And then later on in the day, the guy across the street, same thing happens. He has a third story. Apparently, these third stories are not insulated well. So, in the roof, because that's where it came from, the cold. Well, I don't know for sure. I haven't been there. I doubt they're going to let us in for a tour. I don't want to charge money for a tour to see a house that's had the water damage. Anyway, he caught his in time and knew where the water shut off is and shut his water off. So, I say we ought to go out and let's go do that again. Let's go out today. It's today. There's even more snow. Maybe another six inches of snow out there. Let's go do it again. No, no, we should stay home. We shouldn't go out and... Uh, Oh, come on, come on. I have driving skills in the snow. So a good time was had by all. And as I woke up this morning, um, I wanted to do a video about this to just show how silly things are. That we, we moved right into the dark ages without electricity. Electricity made everything. You can't make coffee. You can't turn on a television. The computers don't work. Wi-Fi doesn't work. You, the cell towers for our phones, I guess, weren't working all that well. Although I thought mine worked. <clears throat> and um, how quickly we forget. But I'm sort of sitting up on the side of the bed this morning, and someone said, Reason has left us. This is the day afterward. They didn't warn me about that out there yesterday because we had to go anyway. We didn't have any groceries, so you go when you have to. I guess I didn't have to take Bunny along, but she would have missed it. She would have missed the yelling. You know, crazy guy, look out. <clears throat> anyway. Reason has left us an apocalyptic shopping. 
I did not see any locust, although I probably imagined a few. No earthquakes, no fires, just cold weather. This happened when I was a kid. Uh, Texas, we don't, we don't see any snow. Those who say they do. The panhandle of Texas, you'll get some snow up there, but that's basically up in Oklahoma. Um, it snowed once. Um, I can't remember. How old I was it? We had, we'd been there maybe two, two years or something in this new town. And um, people were all over the place. The cars were all over the thing. And my brother and I got in our Jeep and went and pulled someone out of a ditch. And they got in the car and pressed the gas again. Zzzz, right back in the ditch. And we had to turn around and pull them out again. And say, well, we're done with you. <laughs> whatever, whatever. But that's how there's no snow plows. There's no salt. There's no trucks to spread the salt. The north from here, they you know they have all that equipment. So they got out and plowed and threw uh, salt and the ice was gone. You could drive on it, but it was still cold. But what happened here was the trucks didn't deliver groceries to the stores because the ice was so bad out on the highway. So we had nonstop craziness. Ooh, I may not be able to get any more groceries. I better buy everything I can. Aren't we silly? No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.